Hi guys and welcome to today's tutorial. In today's lesson we're going to focus on some of the effects that earthquakes can have on uh, the world. Okay, so we're going to look at some of the effects of earthquakes. Okay, so we're going to look at some of the effects uh, that earthquakes can have and one of the effects of an earthquake is that it can lead to a tsunami. Um, an example of this would have been um, in uh, Japan in 2011 on 11th of March. It was a huge uh, earthquake and that led to uh, a tsunami being formed. Okay, uh, So that's just one effect. And the second effect of earthquakes can be that can cause like uh, landslides and avalanches. So when earthquakes actually happen because of the, the amount of pressure that's that's released, it can cause lots. It can cause a landslide to happen, or even an avalanche, um, depending on what part of the world it's in. The third effect of earthquakes is liquefaction. So liquefaction is when basically loose rocks and solids uh, and sand are all saturated uh, with water, and then they behave like uh, liquids. So basically, they just start to flow. This can lead to many different things, such as uh, a landslide or an, an avalanche, um, uh, depending on, on what it might be. The next effect of, uh, the fourth effect of earthquakes can be uh, loss of life. So, loss of life. And people can be, so people can, so death and people can become uh, injured. Now the amount of damage and amount of effects that's actually uh, caused because of uh, earthquakes does depend on, on a few different things. Um, and I'm going to look at some of these things now. So like the first one is like the magnitude of the earthquake. So the bigger the magnitude in the Richter scale, the more damage that's going to be caused. So magnitude of the earthquake. Uh, the sixth one effect is going to be like the distance from the, uh, the epicenter. Distance from... The epicenter and the distance from the the focus. So the close, the closer the focus is to the surface, the more damage is going to be caused. Uh, the seventh effect uh, depends on basically like the 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 time and day. It's time of day. So if it happens, an earthquake happens during night. Usually, is less damage done than if it happens during the day. Um, another effect um, would be the population density so the amount of people that are actually like killed or injured depends on like the population density if the population is very heavily uh, populated it's very densely populated well then more people will be um, will be injured or killed and it will affect a lot more people it depends on the building uh, density so the amount of uh, the buildings that you have within the area because then there's more of the buildings that could potentially fall it depends on the quality of construction of construction so if the buildings are poorly constructed together uh, or if the buildings are constructed but they're not constructed to withstand um, earthquakes well then they're going to they're going to collapse and fall and that's going to lead to a lot more um, a lot more uh, destruction and leads to many more effects. One of the other things that uh, depends on the effects is the is the nature of the bedrock. So, nature of the bedrock is the bedrock is um, poor. Well, then it won't be able to the intensity and the intensity of earthquakes is very high. Well, then this will lead to more destruction. Where if the nature if the bedrock is um, is better, then it can withstand uh, a lot more of the of the shocks. And the tremors. And the last thing I'm going to put, now I did touch on it when I talked about like the distance from the epicenter, but I'm just going to say the distance uh, from the focus. So the distance from the focus. So basically, the closer the focus uh, is to the surface, the more destruction is caused, the deeper the focus, the less destruction is caused. One thing to know is that earthquakes can occur as deep as 400 kilometers beneath the Earth's crust, and they're known that'll be known as a deep 
uh, focus. But earthquakes that are closer to the surface, so like less than 70 kilometers, we call them uh, shallow focus earthquakes. And they have uh, caused a lot more destruction because basically the seismic waves have shorter distance to travel. Um, so deep focus is anything from 70 kilometers uh, to 400 and shallow is anything from 0 to, to 70 kilometers is known as a shallow focus. Okay, so that's it for today's tutorial. We looked at some of the, the effects of earthquakes and what can actually cause uh, the effects to be to be greater um, and what can cause the, the some of the effects to be reduced. Um, they develop, it depends on a number of different factors. Uh, if you enjoyed the video tutorial, can you leave me some feedback? You can contact me on Twitter, Facebook or Instagram. And, or you can do it through the, through the website examrevision.ie and you can find all the videos on examrevision.ie. Thanks guys.